I'm Robert, and welcome to YouCanLearnThis.com, a site that features physics simulations and work problems of interest to people taking their first physics course. Please visit the site to find many more topics. Feel free to comment on what you see. Help me make this better. Also, consider making a small donation to help defray costs. Thanks. And now, on with the show. Welcome to this simulation of a roller coaster doing a loop-de-loop. -loop. It doesn't look much like it, I know, but there's our roller coaster. It's going to slide down here. Of course, there's no track, and it's just going to go around this loop. And what we're concerned with is how high do we have to place it so that it will just make it around the loop. We don't want it to fall off the track because we don't want to die. So that's our interest. So basically, we're really asking how much potential energy does this uh, coaster require so it will just make it. So um, let's just run what we've got. The mass is 9 kilograms and the coaster height is 3 meters. That means this is the zero level. So the coaster is 3 meters above zero, which means that's the diameter of this loop, radius of 1.5. Okay, let's run it to see what happens. Do, 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 do. Oh my goodness, that wasn't good enough. So if we back up somewhat, that's very slow, isn't it? Let's back up a little quicker. Okay, there we go. Okay, if we run this forward, we can see the speed dropping, it's connect kinetic energy dropping because the speed is dropping, its potential energy is rising because it's getting higher. The total energy is staying constant because energy is conserved. And then even as it falls, energy is conserved. We're just transforming from either kinetic to potential and back and forth. But you can see the problem. It doesn't have enough energy to actually stay on the track because we need it to just touch the track right up there. So um, let's see what we can do to remedy that. Maybe if we give the coaster more mass. So let's bump it up to 10, see if that makes any difference. Here we go, no difference at all. Well, let's make the coaster a lot lighter. Let's make it three and no difference at all. So you should be getting the idea that uh, the mass of the coaster does not matter. And when we do the uh, work problems, you'll see why that's the case. So what we have to do is we have to place it higher. So let's try bumping it up to 4.5. So it's way up there now. Let's see what happens. So here we go. Oh yeah, so if we just back up a little, okay, now we can see, so now our total energy is nearly 375, the total always stays the same, the potential is increasing, it's slowing down, so the kinetic is decreasing, and it's got no trouble staying on the track here, none at all. Now. This box is telling us the magnitude of the normal force at the top. Now, this is not a perfect simulation. You'll probably see that at some points it actually goes to zero. And that's because this isn't a real curve. It's a bunch of straight segments and it bounces around. So here you can see it's zero. Or it looks like what I've done is I've made it come alive when only when it's near the top. That's probably what's happening. So we can see that the normal force up here is 89 newtons. And that means that we don't have to start as high as 4.5. Uh, in fact, if you think about this a bit, the minimum energy required will happen when the coaster is barely touching the track up here 
which means the normal force will be zero. So our goal is basically to find just the right height so that it makes it around, but right at the top, the normal force is zero, but it's only zero at the top, just before and just after the coaster is in contact with the track. So of course there is a magic number for that, so let's try, because I wrote the magic number down, 3.75. And oh, let's see, did it go to 3.75? No, I have to press enter. There we go. Always press enter. So there we are, 3.75 above the zero level here. And you can see that's above the top of the track. So let's see if this is going to work out. All right. Let's back up and let's see what happens. All right. So the total energy is around 312 and it stays there. We're getting higher. So potential is increasing. We're slowing down. Kinetic is decreasing. Our normal force at the top is getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and it sort of minimizes at 4.8. Okay, so that means we could mess around with this and maybe get it to zero. But as I said, there's some imperfections in this simulation. And this 3.75 is the theoretically correct uh, altitude or height so that the coaster will, uh, when it passes through the top, just for one instant, the normal force will be zero, but it will not be zero on either side of that point, meaning that just for that one moment, it leaves the track or isn't pushing against the track. So that's, um, that's the illustration from the, from the simulation. And what we'll do in the problem section is work out uh, these numbers with these, different, with these different heights. And then we'll see uh, how we can conf configure out that the, uh, the theoretically cor correct minimum height for this coaster should be three and three quarter meters. So if you want to find uh, the worked problems, then uh, just go to youcanlearnthis.com and you, there's, it's pretty well indexed there. You'll be able to find this uh, page with this video on it and the associated worked problems, or maybe you can find it at YouTube. I'm not very good at YouTube. I don't know how to do that. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching.